Salutations respected viewers, this is George from Ireland. Here I am in West Brompton Cemetery in London. So this is one of the Immortal Seven, one of those uh, uh, graveyards which opened in the early 19th century um, because the old city's uh, churchyards were full. Too many people have been buried there over the centuries. So here we are. This was just outside London when it was opened. And as you can see, large tour groups come around here. Certainly every Sunday there are tours, even if, there are, even if the weather is inclement. As you can see, it's just about snowing now. Anyway, um, uh, quite a noble gateway under which to pass on your final journey. Um, so the uh, notable people of West London have been interred here, as I say, since about uh, um, 1850. And um, people have been dying to get in here. It is the place to be seen dead in. And uh, notably, they were all uh, laid to rest. They were not cremated. In those days, Christianity tended to be against cremation, seeing it as a pagan thing. Um, as it's open seven days a week, it usually closes uh, at dark. And there's some large and handsome uh, family mausolea, where you see a couple of fine examples behind me there. Um, now, Beatrix Potter, the children's novelist, she resided hard by and she took regular perambulations in this graveyard and she drew inspiration from the headstones she saw here. So notably a certain Mr. Nutkin uh, posthumously lent his name to one of the uh, famous characters of uh, her novels. Richard Tauber, the celebrated German singer, uh, is uh, laid to rest here and he used to cantle, canticle Das ist der schönste Tag in meinem Leben. Um, and he um, shuffled off this mortal coil in 1948 uh, by Edgware Road. And anyway, uh, he finds eternal repose here. And many other distinguished persons. John Snow, that doctor of the Broad Street pump case from about 1850. He's the man who proved that contaminated water can be fatal. Might seem blindingly blatant to us now, but it was exceedingly contentious at the time. And a few soldiers who died of wounds in the First World War, they also find eternal rest uh, within these walls. So that's it. Uh, the, the tube line is behind me, behind that dark brown wall and a Chelsea football stadium you can't quite see it Ugh, be behind me there about a mile away you probably maybe make out a crane on the edge of it so Earl's Court tube station is the nearest uh, tube station to this one so well worth strolling around it's like a park only more historic